Hey, what's up? David here. And you might notice that things look a little bit different today. And if you pay attention to the audio, you might also realize that there's a really, really strong echo in the background. What's up with this? So when I came to Korea, I lived in a guest house. The first videos I uploaded from Seoul were from this guest house. And I think it's been around two weeks now. During these two weeks, I actively searched for apartments and houses. I went to a lot of house viewings, a lot of apartment viewings, and I try to find the right place for me. I didn't want to take the best first, the first possible place. I wanted to wait until I find the correct place where I think this could be my new home. And this is where I'm currently in. So this is my apartment tour in Korea, Seoul. Enjoy. So this is my office tale in Korea. Um, I don't know if you ever heard about office tales, but office tales are kind of the apartments here. Office tell is a combination from office and hotel and usually at the first floor of a office tell building is a coffee shop or some other stores. So you're basically living on top of stores. Anyway, uh, it's basically an apartment and um, here's my place in case you're interested. So when you come in, you have a lot of stores, uh, you have a lot of closets here where you can put a lot of stuff in. A lot of different areas. Um, one of the key things about office tales is that everything is in the wall. Like you have, you have a wall here on this side, but at the same time, it's a fridge. Or on the other side, you have this here, and everything, every, every, every part you see here is basically a closet. Like I can open it, and you see my clothes. Here's more, and. In an office tell, they kind of try to integrate everything into the wall, so it's not really blocking you, um, but you still have a lot of functionality. For example, I have this gimmicky thing here, where I can put my laundry if I want to, which looks like this. I picked for my, because I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of high floors, I wanted something really high, like the highest possible what I can find, but still affordable, because I think usually the higher you go, the more expensive it gets. This one is in the 14th floor, which is like, in this building, the highest floor available. The view is so-so, because there are a lot of different buildings there blocking the view, but um, still, because I think this, this office tell is on the south side, I have a lot of light coming in here, and I really, really like that. Uh, so, yeah, my window. Let's continue. Basically, there's not nothing, nothing really here yet. Let's go back to the to the door. There's nothing here. I wrote a little "Hello, David" here because this thing is material where can you write with whiteboard marker on. Um, and I'm currently in the middle of buying a lot of furniture, so basically I have nothing here yet. There's my bed. There's my laptop. And here is a big empty area where I think there will be a sofa in the future or a TV here. And there's my router over there. And that's basically my, my one room office tell. Of course I have shower too, which is like integrated over here. There I am, hi. You can see me. My toilet here and my, my shower, which you can close like this and then nothing splashing out in theory. It's not really working that well, but uh, you get the idea. Again, washing machine is integrated into the wall, so it's not really blocking you. And everything when you when you look from this side is aligned. So all your stuff you have, all your closets, all your kitchen is on this side. It's like in, directly integrated into the wall. And it's not even counting as the actual room size, obviously. Here's my little uh, mirror area, my, my, my sink, where I can brush my teeth and get pretty, I guess. There's even more closets. One thing I realized about this place, it has so many closets. I have no idea what I should do with them. Here, two more, here three, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here even more. Here I can pull something out, which nothing on it yet. Even more closets. And even under the table, there's more. Cool thing about this table is I can like pull it out or move it back in. Um, and I definitely will buy some chairs about this. So uh, this is my one room office tell. Um, yeah, nothing else to see here yet, but more stuff coming soon in, I think. The only thing I bought so far is this, this bed. It was not included. I bought it myself. Um, 
which was kind of a pain, but more later or something. Interesting about the thing is also, um, usually there's one big company which kind of sponsors, not sponsors, but helps a bit with the office tell, and in exchange they get um, the, the dominant product placement. For example, this one I think is because there's a Samsung building nearby, everything in here is from Samsung. I can show you a little bit around. For example, my air conditioner over there is from Samsung. If I go to my stove, my cooking plate, it's from Samsung. If I go to my washing machine, it's from Samsung. So basically everything that was included here, which is electricity and Samsung has a product for it, is from Samsung. I don't know, I don't really have anything against Samsung, but I think it's a little funny fact. And um, yeah, I heard about a friend who has a, lives near a LG building, so everything in there is from LG. Guess that's how things are here. But that's not all. One of the reasons why I specifically decided for this building is this. I'm currently standing on the roof of the office tail building and it's kind of awesome. Let me show you a little bit around. Like for example here you have this area where you can go with your friends and throw a party or something. Here you have even a grill and you can go and eat barbecue I think. And this place is not small, like it's actually pretty huge. There's an area over there, like the same thing mirrored on the side. And like it's a small rooftop garden, I guess. And you have a really great view, like if you go high up, you can see like pretty much all of Gangnam from here, if it's not blocked by, by some, some weird buildings. Um, so I guess in the summer when you want to invite friends or you just want to get a little bit of fresh air or for example don't sit in your room for working or just sit outside but you don't want to go somewhere you can just go here on the roof and just have a good time I think there's even more here like I'm currently on the back side of the building there's also the Samsung building I'm, I was talking before about Samsung Any, Anytel I don't really know what that means but I think because of this building there's a lot of Samsung stuff in my room I have no idea, that's what I guess at least. Um, yeah, here again, more more tables to sit. Here's a more, another way through the small garden area. And yeah, let's go over there. You so so, I guess, from here. But still, you have nature like directly at the top of your apartment anytime available and yeah without without being a customer of this place of course you cannot go here because everything is like secure card protected so you need like your ID card otherwise it will not work and yeah I really like it it's a little bit noisy from time to time because there's like this air conditioned stuff here but I really 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 like this place just sitting here and I think from here like because my room is in the 14th floor which is like one one downstairs I can even get to my own room Wi-Fi here so I can just bring my laptop up here and work I guess I'm not sure if there are actually sockets here for energy I honestly don't think so but I guess it doesn't really matter that much so yeah my office tell um, tell me what you think show me your office tell if you have one and Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.